So, just looking at the bottom pad SPI, they are consistent of two parts, the bottom pad from SparkFun, and uh, I noticed that the bottom pad has an 80 mega 328 chip, that's the same as the Arduino, so I was hoping to turn this along without anything else but power and a MIDI cable into a real uh, sequencer. So all I did was solder the pin headers here for the slave program so I can put a, a programmer here and uh, program the ship. And uh, all you I needed to do is get a 5 volt power supply. On this, case, uh, on this case I'm using a regulator. So I have here a 9 volt cable with a small power uh, regulator so it inputs uh, very high voltage and outputs 5 volts so I have my ground here and my 5 volts and it's already running and a MIDI cable so this is just a cable that I put at 202 ohm resistor I will show on the diagrams and I have uh, the voltage and the, the MIDI output so it's very easy to set up. Alright, I have my MIDI working and everything is done from the, the ship that I programmed via the Arduino IDA using a small AVR programmer. On this case I used a USB tiny ISP. This I got on eBay for 10 bucks. Yeah, it's very cheap. It works best on Windows. Uh, some people complain about problems with it, but for me it's, so far it's working. So it's very simple to use. I just plug the cable here to the bottom of the of the the card here on the headers and program via the Arduino IDA. I just had to do some changes on the IDA so it would support the 20, 20 megahertz crystal that we have here is not a 16 megahertz like most Arduino are so I had to do some changes on the Arduino ID otherwise we would uh, break the chip somehow at least it's what I heard on some forums so it's very easy just power now and a MIDI cable and it's pretty much all you need that's it